Hey everyone, good to see you all again. We've got a Power World update. So we've got the patch notes here for version 1.5 and it came out just today. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see what we've got. We've got major fixes, implemented backup of saved data on the world selection screen and resolved the issue of unnecessary data accumulating in saved data. So that might help with some uh, people's problems that I've been seeing a lot on the reviews of people just losing their saves and the tricky method that you needed to go through to get that data back. I hope that'll help a lot of people. Added fully supported keyboard key configuration. Now they say fully supported keyboard key. I wonder if it's going to include mouse key as well, because I saw some people were saying that they wish that they could have like a left hand mouse situation going on. So that would be nice if that if that's something that they've added. We've also got guild. Modified specification to allow guild members to be removed when not logged in. I didn't know uh, about this being a problem or not. I hadn't seen any reviews for it, but hey, why not? That's a good fix. You don't have to get people to log in when they want to get them out of the guild. That's good. Uh, player issues. Changed long press operation during player tasks to allow continuous work by pressing the work button once. This is switchable in the options setting. So I guess that's instead of having to hold F, now you can just tap F and then you can go make a drink or something while you're waiting to craft. That's a useful, that's useful. Uh, we've also got fixed issue where riding in prohibited hunting areas would not result in a crime. So I guess that's those sanctuaries. Yeah, that's, yeah, okay, fair enough. Uh, improved interaction accuracy with adjacent objects. This could be good. I had done so much speculating having two chests next to each other and you can't click on the one that you want even when you're looking at it and i was like oh it must be like checking for radius and the first one to get you is the one you interact with so i hope they've made it like a ray cast onto the one that you're looking at and that's the one that you open that would be very helpful we've got some changes to pals as well so change specifications so that when a pal is instructed to attack aggressively the power will attack enemies indiscriminately even when they are not in combat. So that's when you like press 4 and choose attack aggressively and they still don't attack until you hit them things first. So that's a cool fix that they've done. That's nice. Corrected an issue to allow powers of rank 1 or higher to be selected as concentrated material. Higher ranked powers yield more result yield more points when concentrated. That is awesome. I think I think they're saying concentrated. I think they're meaning condensed with that machine. In stream, we were talking about it forever. Wishing that you could make a, make a, a one star, use your four, merge together, make a one star, and then have that one star count as four when you try to put it into another one, like to use 16 or something. That is great. That's going to save a lot of power storage space. Because one of the big problems with condensing was you can only really do one at a time. You don't have the power space to... To be trying to, uh, you know, save up all these different 32 and then 64 of this guy is too much. This is going to be great. It just means you can have four different guys that are all rank one and you'll be able to use those together. And then boom, you got a, you got a level 16 there. A two star, I mean. That's great. That's a big update. We've also got fixed a bug where if a large amount of experience points were gained and the level increased to 50 at once, powers would not learn any active skills. I didn't experience this problem in this particular way, but I did experience a problem where it would say that they were learning things, but they actually weren't. So I don't know if that's going to address that as well, but I guess we'll see. Uh, and we've got mitigated an issue where using Mossander's partner skill, Grenadier Panda, on a dungeon boss would cause the boss to get stuck in walls. Where did I see that? I feel like I saw that in someone else's stream. They shot the boss into the wall and then they couldn't catch it. That's the only time that I've seen it, but it was obviously a big, a big problem. So that's great that they fixed that. That's awesome. All right, we've got some fixes here for base issues as well. So fixed an issue where base pals would get stuck on top of a logging site, etc. We've all seen that one. It's when they just randomly up there, and, and it's like your dig toys is just up on top of the trees for no reason. That's a great fix. Added measures to prevent the issues where base pals would wander around and get stuck at the border of a base area. I think uh, I think I've seen this one before as well. 
you come back to your base and your power's just randomly like outside for some reason. And once they're outside, they don't move anymore. So it's just stuck there. So that's a that's a big fix as well. Fixed an issue where pals at the base would get stuck repeatedly, starting transportation tasks and light bulb icon would appear over and over. I noticed this mostly with the pals that fly and they would just spin in a circle. They're just spinning forever. And it's like, what, what are you doing? What are you actually doing? Just spinning. So that's going to be great. We also have added measures to prevent the issue of base pals getting stuck in the farm on a roof. More fixes to them getting stuck is always good. Fixed an issue where work powers would get stuck in the summon space of a power box when restarting the server on a dedicated server. They adjusted the default work priority of base powers. And then it just says here Anubis will prioritize manual labor. So I, I don't exactly know what this means and I have not checked it out myself yet to see who else is affected. But when they say he'll prioritize manual labor, it seems like all tasks are manual labor, like carrying things, mining, handicraft. I wonder which one they're talking about specifically. This isn't as good as a, of a fix to their to being able to control your powers as I would have wanted. It would have been great if, if you could assign like Anubis, you're going to be mining, you're going to be carrying. It, that would have been better, I think. But this might still be good. But... I hope that they will continue to improve this. Uh, significantly relaxed building restrictions for stairs and triangular roofs. I bet they're talking about the fact that you need to put the stair on top and build down. I bet they've made it that you can go the other way now. I wonder. I, that's, I'm just guessing, but I think a lot of people struggle with that. Fixed an issue where sound would play in an infinite loop when pals at the base used certain active skills. I don't think I heard this one, but it sounds like that would have been pretty annoying. So, good fix. Specifications changed so that all changes in environmental temperature are added up. For example, if you put four campfires next to each other, the surrounding area will have the temperature of a volcano. That's going to be big for uh, egg hatching. Being um, what, Depending on how big the surrounding area is, that's going to be big for egg hatching because uh, I tried and I'm sure everyone else did putting multiple campfires and it actually does nothing. So that's going to be cool. Possibly dangerous too. Having the temperature of a volcano if you're running around your base with no temperature gear. That could be deadly. Implemented relax working style on the monitoring stand. That might help people, especially uh, when the server is offline. Maybe you can put them on relax and they'll just chill. So you won't log back into the server and have them all just insane. But again... Not really the direction I would have preferred for, for base pals. It, I do still hope to see more control of the base pals. I do hope that. Balance adjustments. Significantly strengthened mining power for dig toys partner skills. I am assuming this is when they do one damage at the base, but they, but they were doing more damage when you send them out. Fixed the abnormally high selling price of nails. We had a good run. We knew the time would come. We knew the time would come. But it's like all those empires built on nails have come to an end. Oh boy, you hate to see it. Significantly increase the number of police officers who appear when a crime is committed. Well, after the TikTok that I saw of someone building a really tall tower and just going up there and farming them <laughs> because they kept spawning... That's probably going to be great for anyone who's got that set up. Added electric shock effect to free PAL alliances crossbow. Um, that seems like it could be a little deadly. Those crossbows, they hit pretty hard if you're not wearing armor, so that could be a little nasty. They've adjusted the flight distance of the sphere launcher and the scatter sphere launcher. Okay, so that it must just shoot further then. That's cool. I haven't actually really tested those myself, to be honest, but eh, that seems cool. Hmm. And increase the sanity value recovery amount of the high quality hot springs. That's great. That is great. I didn't really notice the high quality hot springs doing a great deal for me, so hopefully that fixes it. That's going to be very nice. We've also got network related. 
renovated the server lobby. Uh, they probably just redesigned the UI, I guess. Search by server name will now work. That's going to be huge. I had a few people saying that uh, searching for server name was completely useless. Added the ability to view online players on a dedicated server, but on community servers, this will only be displayed if the setting is enabled. So, so that must be to check who is actually online rather than just having the number of people online. So that'll be nice. And then just some other fixes. Fix the issue where the day five memo was not placed. They must have forgot to put that in the world. You can now adjust the in-game brightness in the settings. That's going to be good. I wonder if they've corrected the fact that motion blur doesn't really feel like it takes motion blur off. Hmm. Fixed many minor bugs. Well, they don't really go into details about what bugs, but if I can still launch myself by standing on top of a power sphere, I'll be happy. Corrected various incorrect text. Oh, okay, that's cool. Improved measures against cheating. They don't really go into any detail about what kind of measures they have done, but good on them for, for trying to crack down on that. That was another big complaint that people had. So hopefully, hopefully that will ease it up a little bit on the dedicated servers. Because that's one of the biggest complaints that I was seeing for the negative reviews. It was just like, we're sick of cheaters. We will continue to develop, placing top priority on fixing major problems and issues. Thank you for your continued support of Power World. Well, that's nice. And then when I saw this this morning before work, it had 300 comments. Now it's at 900. So people are talking about this. All right. So there we go. Some pretty nice updates there. Some pretty cool stuff. They did uh, change a few things that we kind of knew was coming. Everyone was lying to themselves if they thought that they were never going to address the fact that nails were selling for 160 each. I'm going to feel like a profit if uh, I log on and there's 16 each. I really feel like someone accidentally hit the zero on the end there. If there's 16 each, then I'll know. Pretty cool. Uh, I think the next video will, I'll, I'll probably be going through the discussion on this and see what people are saying because I can only imagine that there's going to be some, uh, some haters. <laughs> I can definitely imagine there's going to be some haters. So yeah. Uh, if you enjoyed, press a like, subscribe if you want more stuff like this. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.